hell is like when we're at, we're absorbed into ourselves. Welcome to the Rosary Hour Podcast Digital Cafe. My name is Christine, your host, and this is Micro Masterclass number three. If Horace Greeley had not believed there was such a thing as territory beyond the Mississippi, he would never have said, go west, young man. If the modern man did not believe there was such a thing as hell, he would never give so many directives to those to whom he did not like to go there. Archbishop Fulton Sheen, from his book, Go to Heaven, A Spiritual Roadmap to Eternity. Now is hell somewhere that we go, like Fulton Sheen suggests? Or is it a state that we experience? So I think as when we experience generous love, true love for other people, sacrificial love, we already experience the joy of heaven. And heaven is like that. Just as hell is like when we're at, we're absorbed into ourselves. And um, there's a very good article in the Catholic thing, which I highly recommend. I get it every morning. Uh, today by Francis Meyer, Fran Meyer, about, about hell, basically. But just go the reverse and you have heaven. And how it is... Uh, it's that kind of loneliness and that kind of selfishness. And I think a lot of people's lives right now are that, and that will continue after death. And a lot of people's lives are forgetful of self, generous, loving, and that's heaven they will experience for all eternity, but it's already begun now. You know, we live our purgatory on earth sometimes, but sometimes we have some more after. That's where really Dante is the most important the greatest poet in history based upon the greatest theologian, Thomas Aquinas. So the Divine Comedy, last year we celebrated, uh, commemorated the, what would it be? 1321, I think it was. Uh, so whatever, seven or 800 years of his his death. And so a lot of things about Dante. And uh, I see he really tells us most about heaven, hell, and purgatory. Does eternal life exist? Recently in the church, words have multiplied. It seems that in the last 20 years, more documents have been produced at every level of the church than in the entire preceding 20 centuries. Yet to some, it has seemed that this very loquacious church is silent is about what is most essential, eternal life. People of our time have become insensitive to last things. On the one hand, secularization and secularism promote this insensitivity and lead to a consumer mentality oriented toward the enjoyment of earthly goods, says John Paul II in his book, Crossing the Threshold of Hope, from 1994 in his response to the questions of Vittorio Missori, the journalist. And he continues, on the other hand, the quote-unquote hells on earth created in this century, which is now drawing to a close, have also contributed to this insensitivity. After the experience of concentration camps, gulags, bombings, not to mention natural catastrophes, can man possibly expect anything worse from this world, an even greater amount of humiliation and contempt? In a word, hell? You are listening to the Rosary Hour podcast, Micro Masterclass Series, featuring Cardinal Thomas Christopher Collins of the Archdiocese of Toronto. You can subscribe to our podcast by going to rosaryhourpodcast.substack.com. That's rosaryhourpodcast.substack.com. 